call solarium. Scientist Del Carlo describes the contents of the beaker as a virus that we should be cautious of. She claims that this so-called virus turns humans into the walking dead, otherwise known as zombies. The virus ultimately kills off every part of the body except for the brain. Dr. Del Carlo contacted the police who informed us about this outbreak. She wanted to let everyone know that there is a threat. People are contaminated in the public area. We advise you to take care of yourselves and your loved ones. This isn't just a practical joke. We are serious and this can spread really quickly. As soon as we can, we will have Dr. Del Carlo describe what signs we have to look for in order to reveal the undead. Now back to your normal program. Good afternoon. First off, I would like to apologize for everything that's been happening. I know this will never make up for the damage caused, but it is important for me to let you know that this was not my intention. Solarium is a deadly virus, and it's spreading quick. We are currently working on a cure, and we are working hard to get the right one. While we are working on this, we wanted to broadcast a few tips that we have come across. One, the undead aren't very fast, but also, they can detect when you are imitating them so do not slow down to a sluggish pace when they are after you. Two, the only way of finally killing the undead is to aim for the only working part in their entire body, their brain. Three, this may be common sense, but we strongly advise it. Be sure to wear your seatbelt. You never know when a motor vehicle can come in handy. Four, if you are unsure that you have finally exterminated your subject, do not approach it. Just to be safe, we suggest that you do what we call a double tap. Five, higher ground will always keep you safe because zombies cannot climb. And six, children before adults. Watch out for kids among us. They are our future. For more information on the progress we are making and more tips, feel free to log on to the city website where there will be a constant news feed. I will not be answering any questions at this time. However, there will be an interview tonight on the local 6 o'clock news where I will be talking in depth about this virus. Again, I am deeply sorry for what has been happening and we hope everyone is taking this seriously. This is not something to be joking about. Take care and stay safe. doctor should go to jail for what she did. The way I see it, it's practically murder. How do we know she didn't do this on purpose? It's probably planned. Heather, you're overthinking it. Wouldn't you think it'd be more important for her to not go to jail and figure out a way to cure this thing? And like, that way we wouldn't have to live in this hell? Personally, I'd rather have a heart instead of even feeding off the other person's flesh. I love you, but you're being ridiculous. What's ridiculous is the fact that we might die and you're saying she shouldn't go to jail. What's ridiculous is the fact that all our neighbors are flesh eating zombies and she shouldn't go to jail? We're gonna make it. I promise you that.
virus has completely devastated over 150 of the world's major regions and is spreading rapidly. At this point in time, we know of only one method of killing the creatures, or to destroy the brain. Be on the guard of any loved ones who may have recently been in any sort of contact with the infected. And if you find yourself in a threatened position, please do not hesitate to act. Again, this is not a test. This is not a joke. We as a species are overwhelmed. We are outnumbered. <laughs>